Okay, now we go to determine the power bearing capacity by consideration of SPTM value and also SPT. Okay, so the first part is in determining the value of QOP based on the N value. You can use the method of Meehoff here by using this expression which is the N60 is the average value standard penetration number near to the pile point. Okay, let's say we have a pile here. So, we consider 10D above and also 5D below the pile tip. Okay, so by using the bright et al., you can use the equation of 19.7 PA times 2 N60 power of 0 0.36. It's very simple equation that can calculate the end bearing capacity. Okay, in determining the QS, the QS you need to consider for Mehoff, you need to consider either your pile is using the high displacement driven pile or low displacement driven pile in determine the friction average okay so since that you know the qs is equal to submission of f uh, p delta l so in determine this f you need to refer this equation same goes to prior all. okay so we consider n system the corrected value there is the corrected value okay not the n Normally, we convert the N value to N60 by considering the hammer efficiency. Okay, we can we can use the directly N value. We need to convert the N value to N60 by considering the hammer efficiency. Okay, so this is the correlation with CPT. We divide by two granular and also the clay is based on these equations, okay? In order to determine the alpha prime, you need to refer this graph. This is for electric cone and this one for mechanical cone. And then this graph is referred to clay soil, okay? You need to have the ratio of Fc over Pa and then you get the alpha. Meanwhile, for this one, you need to have a ratio of L over D. Okay, by correlation with CPT also has been developed by Mehoff. Says that the QP value is as proximate to QC in a granular soil. Later, we will go to the example for each method or each correlation, which is on N value and also the CPT value. Thank you.